Do you have a bunch of Microsoft whiteboards and it's hard to find the one that you want when you want it? Well, I'm going to show you a pro tip on how to manage your Microsoft whiteboards that's going to make your life a lot easier. And stick around to the end of the video because I also have a special announcement that I hope is going to be interesting to you. So let's go check it out. Here's a tip that can make working with the Microsoft whiteboard a lot easier. Here I have my whiteboard app and you can see all of the whiteboards that I own as well as the ones that I'm a member of. Over here on my OneDrive, if I go into my whiteboard folder, I can see all of the whiteboards that I own. But if I have hundreds or dozens of whiteboards, it can be a little bit difficult to find the one that I'm looking for. Well, I can organize them into folders. So here I've created a data engineering folder on OneDrive, and here I've created a hiking club whiteboard folder on OneDrive as well. Both of them are underneath the whiteboards folder. So if I go into my compare and contrast and maybe my sailboat planning session, I can move those over to, a, to one of those folders. And these ones happen to be whiteboards that I'm using for planning a hike for my hiking club. So I'm going to pop those into the hiking club, move those over there, and now I have less whiteboards to deal with at the root of the folder. Maybe I have even more whiteboards that I want to do that with. Let's just scroll over here. So we'll go over here and maybe I have my two data class whiteboards. So I'll scroll over, grab the two data class ones, and I'm going to move those as well. We're going to put those into the data engineering folder. So I'll pop those into the data engineering folder and I'll move those there. Now, when I go to find whiteboards, they're going to be a lot easier to find because I have them organized in folders. As an extra bonus, when I go into the hiking club folder, notice that they're also in alphabetical order. So I have 01 and then I have sailboat, so numerical alphabetical order. And if I go into my data engineering ones, you can see I have those in numerical order as well. Now you might say, well, if I'm over here on the app, I still don't see those whiteboards in the order that I want them. Well, what we can do is over here in OneDrive, if I want to use them in the app, I can go into the hiking one, I'll go into my sailboat planning session, and you can see that this here will open the whiteboard, so I can confirm that that's the one that I want to work with. So it'll open up that whiteboard, make sure that it's the one that I need to use for my class or for my session, so you can see it's in there. And then if I go over to the app and hit the F5 key, it'll refresh it, and the last whiteboard that I opened on my account will have been that sailboat planning session and that will be the one that shows as the most recent whiteboard to use. So what's the special announcement? This pro tip was part of a course that I built on Microsoft Whiteboard and I'll put a link down below to the course plus a special discount code for people that watch this video. Thank you very much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.